Let's plot the collector characteristic of an NPN bipolar junction transistor. This will be a plot of the collector current as a function of collector emitter voltage for various levels of base current. I'm going to begin by enabling the virtual components toolbar. And then next, let's find a typical transistor. This is the 2N2222. I will use a DC current source to set the base current. Give it the label IB. And I'll give this a more reasonable nominal value of 10 microamps. We'll need the emitter to be grounded. And then I'm going to place a DC voltage source And this will control the collector emitter voltage of the transistor. I'll give this also a smaller nominal value of 1 volt. All right, there's a circuit. I'll be wanting to plot the collector current as a function of collector emitter voltage. And then we'll step through various levels of base current. We'll use a DC sweep for this purpose. For the source, I want to step the collector emitter voltage over a range of 0 to 10 volts. And I'll do this in a finer step size of 0.1 volt. We'll then invoke the second source, which is the base current. And I'll control that from 0 to 200 microamps. Now you can't, unfortunately, put in the U for micro, you need to essentially figure out what amperage is necessary and then fill in the suitable number of zeros. That ends up being 200 microamps. And for my step, I want to use 20 microamps. So I need one more zero. For my output variable, I want to plot the collector current of the transistor. All right, let's see what we have. A nice family of curves here, each curve corresponding to a different value of base current. Might want to just make sure that you know where the data points actually exist. That would be each of the dots here. When you operate the cursors, you notice that you get all of the curves displayed in the cursor window simultaneously. One of those is the active trace, but all the rest of them are visible. And you can glean various pieces of information from this plot using the cursors. Now you'll notice in this area that it seems like the data perhaps is a little bit coarse. Looks like the 0.1 volt step wasn't giving very smooth response in that area. What I'll do now is run only between zero and one half volt, but do it in much smaller steps. So we see a nice smooth family of curves in that limited voltage region.